Hey guys, um, this video, I don't think I'm going to edit it, I'm just going to talk for a little bit or a while because it's a really crazy story. Um, I guess people call these like story times, I guess, what I've seen, but I just have a story. Um, today's date is the 18th, it's Sunday, um, and this story happened... Thursday night, like the, the bad stuff happened from Thursday night through, I guess, today. Um, and I'm going to just explain the story of what has happened to my family because I think I've waited enough time to kind of tell the story. We've been able to tell all our family and friends, so I'm going to tell you guys because it's a really interesting, disgusting story, and you're going to think like, it's harder for me and my family to comprehend it, but when I tell you some of the details, I'm not going to go into, like, full detail, but I'm going to make y'all kind of understand what had happened. Um, I know, so first I'm going to say, like, if you follow me on social media, basically on, or mainly on Snapchat or Instagram, you kind of see, um, you've seen a child on my Instagram by the name of Auden, um, this is what the story is about. It is about that child. Um, so I'm going to start back months ago when my brother found out that he was a supposed father to this child. Um, I'm not going to use the mother's name. We'll call her Alex. We'll call her Alex. I don't know. Because I don't want to use her real name. So the mother's name is Alex. Um, Alex finally comes around and contacts Nick my brother again, and is like, um, you have a one-year-old daughter, ah. so, um, and then he tells us, um, apparently he had, like, a DNA test done, but comes back to find out he really didn't, he lied because he had said he was tired of questions, which was understandable, um, so, you know, we just kind of, the mother sends my parents pictures of Auden, and, um, you know, everything seems fine. Like, oh, we have a, I have a niece. My, my parents have a, um, granddaughter. And, um, so you may know that my brother is currently on deployment, so he's not here. So, um, this happened. The mother came around when Nick had left for a deployment, so it was kind of weird how she waited till he was gone. So, fast forward to when crap really went down. Thursday... Wednesday, the mother came up, because where my mother works, my mom works, there's a consignment sale. So my mom was like, hey, you want to come pick out Auden's clothes? Like, you want to get Auden some clothes? And, uh, oh, and just a little tidbit, we had, we've never met Auden, because every time we would ask, there would be an excuse. And that will, that will um, tie into the end. But, so the mother comes up and we buy $163 worth of baby clothes for Auden. Um, so... And then, um, the mother told, told us that she had to take Auden to the, um, cardiologist the next morning because apparently Auden had some birth defect that she had a hole in her heart, so she had to go get that checked out or something. So, the next day, it's Thursday, um, something happened. I, I was at home. My mom called me saying that we need to pack up. Because we're going to Augusta, apparently, because Auden, they found something worse than it was, and she's getting rushed to open heart surgery or something. So I'm just like, I just woke up from a nap, I was just like, pew. So, um, we, my mom comes home, uh, the mother hasn't contacted her back, so she doesn't know if we're leaving or not for Augusta. She doesn't know what hospital we're going to or anything, um, so... We, she gets home, we like call a bunch of people, my mom's distraught, she doesn't know what's going on. My dad gets off work early, he comes home, we have to go pick him up. Um, we lose contact with the mother, and um, she, we're like waiting around, because she like, I guess her phone died, well she explained her, like later on that her phone had died, so she couldn't let us know that anything, so we didn't know where we were going. Later on that night, around, um, 
8.30, she calls us and says, Auden died. Um, Auden didn't make it. Uh, they tried everything they could. So, um, that happened. So, you know, we were all in the car, just, we didn't know what to say. There, my mom started crying. My dad was just in the back, he did, just silent. And I was just like, I, there's like not words for that feeling. You don't, I don't know. But Alex, the mom, uh, said, my mom offered, she was like, oh, come over, you know, you can stay with us as long as you need to at the house. Cause she, she, Alex didn't want to go home. So she came here, um, she was crying, she was all over the place, she was a mess. Um, you know, she was talking about how they, they couldn't, like, her heart couldn't take it, so she died. And, you know, she's just crying nonstop. So I went to bed. The next morning, you know, it was sad. Uh, one of my mom's people from her work brought us food. Um, and I bought everyone food. Um... Later that night, this was on Friday, Friday, I can't, I can't get the times right, um, here's the thing, Alex made a Facebook page, and it was, it, it was strange to me, because she had none of her family members on the Facebook page, like, it was just my family members on that Facebook page, and come to find out that Alex had another Facebook page that never once mentioned Auden or she didn't post anything about Auden's death or anything. So that was one thing. Um, my parents had put together that some of the pictures of Auden did not match anything. Um, and the creepiest piece of evidence that before anything really came out was that when we were shopping for baby clothes, the mother had mentioned, oh yeah, she's starting to teething, she has three teeth on her bottom, she got her first three bottom teeth. My mom zoomed in on a picture of Auden, the only teeth she has is two front top teeth. So we were just like, what's going on? And um, the mother called my mom and said, oh, she's cremated, she, I made a decision to cremate her, she's, it, you can't see her anymore. That's kind of uneasy because, first off, we called a, uh, my mom called a, uh, a funeral home. You can't, um, cremate someone, um, like, sooner than 48 hours. So, and plus, the, um, funeral home informed us that a cremated body hasn't been received there, as the mother had said it was. And we called the hospital... The hospital has no record of an Auden being born in the last year. Or any records of an Auden in a hospital in the last year. So let's just say we had a lot of information thrown our way. My aunt and my cousin showed up um, with a lot of information. And my mom, um, what's the word? She like conf um, confronted Alex, the mom about it and Alex left the house and never returned. Um, so we came to the conclusion that night that she ran out of the house that there was never an Auden. There was never even a child. She made the whole thing up. We still don't know why. We have our conspiracies of why she made this up, but we don't have any confirmation of the real motive. So. As of right now, I never had a niece, my brother never had a daughter, and my parents never had a grandchild. And it's, it's, it's so sick to think that someone would put us through finding out we have her, m making us think that she died, and then finding out that there was never even a, a child. Like, how, like, we were wondering, like, we should have played along with it. Like, she was planning on actually having a funeral and putting us through that, like, we, none of this made sense, and we're, we're still, like, processing it. It doesn't make any sense. There's still unanswered questions, like, who was the baby she was showing us? My mom asked the mother, and apparently it's one of her, like, friend's daughter or something. It's just, it's, it's disgusting. It doesn't make any sense. Um, 
but th there's so many unanswered questions and we're thinking about getting a restraining order. But I just kind of want to explain to you guys because I've, I've been really all over the place with my social media. Like I had posted about her passing away. I was like, oh my God, pray for us. You know, we're going through a lot. And then like I, uh, I didn't feel right leaving that post up there because she didn't die because there was never a child to begin with. So I deleted it. People were asking me questions and uh, it's just, there's so many more details, but like apparently like my mom called her, um, Alex's brother saying that like, this isn't the first time she has faked a baby. She apparently has two ta She's never had a kid. I'm a, I, I'll add that. She has two tattoos of names of children that she's lost that were never, she never had kids. So like either she's, something's mentally wrong or maybe she thought in her mind she actually had this child. We, we don't know yet. So we are, my mom is saying that we will meet her again and we will get answers that we need. So there might be an update video. I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know the basics of this crazy, this crazy mess that our family has been involved in. Because I know I posted a picture saying that I was going to explain this because I just want to get it all out there at once in a quick, easy 12, almost 12 minute video. But because I, I just didn't want to have to explain it multiple times so I'm just gonna tell people if you want answers just go watch the video but yeah if you want any more details just I'll probably be able to answer them because I just didn't want to go into a lot of details in this video because I just wanted to get it out there so my family was scammed um, we still we don't know why but that's the easiest way to say it we were scammed and we have not we don't know what we're gonna do yet um, I mean, it's kind of a relief in a weird way that she didn't die, but it's it's still like we lost her because, you know, knowing that she never even existed, it's kind of, it kind of is losing her, but it's just kind of sick because, like, the mother gave us framed pictures of this child, you know, with, like, edits on it, like, oh, I love Auntie Mare Mare, and that, like, why, why would you do that? And, like, we bought this child over like a hundred dollars in clothes and it's just like how how do you for a year she's had this story for a year like how do you do that but apparently it's not the first time she's done it her family confirmed that but that's it for this crazy story time I guess you'd call it um I never would have thought something like this would have happened to my family but I guess never say never so um hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it gives you like a wow moment because I know I'm still like in a haze. So I love you guys and thank you for hanging in for almost 14 minutes now. I've never made this long of a video, I don't think, of me just talking. But um, just keep my family still in your prayers because we still have, we had another um, family crisis come up today. It's just, this is the week from hell and it's just, it's crazy. Uh, there's so many emotions you just like going up and down constantly is not good for you and I'm just in a state where I'm just like I'm done at the moment so I love you guys and make sure to follow me on my social medias to have updates to ask me questions because I love talking to you guys so just um hang in there because I am and I will see you guys in the next video so thank you for watching